The global drug trade is worth about $320 billion a year. That's a lot of nervous conversations with customs. Do you know how hard it is to play it cool when you have four pounds of Peruvian lightning stuff for the sun don't shine? All right, well, I don't either. So it's no surprise that drug smugglers find some creative ways to get drugs across the border. Potapult! Mexican police confiscated a homemade drug catapult near the Arizona border in 2011. Smugglers used the device to hurl four pound bricks of marijuana over a 20 foot tall border fence. Not the brightest plan, but hey, if we need to lay siege to any castles along the border, we'll know who to call. Submarines! Colombian smugglers build working submarines, lots of them, to sneak up the coast to Mexico. These things cost at least a million dollars a piece, can dive 300 feet underwater, and can move 100 million dollars worth of coke in one run. The smugglers make so much money that they just ditch the subs in the ocean after they're done with the trip, sort of puts the catapult guys to shame. Oh, that's Cute. You got a few pounds of weed over the border? Good job. Well, gotta go. Dive, 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 and all that, right? <laughs> Chemistry. Let's just call this one the Heisenberg approach. Smuggler Brian O'Day made a living in the 70s moving cocaine-laced ponchos from South America to California. He dissolved the coke in methyl alcohol, soaked the ponchos in the solution, let them dry, flew them to LA, right past customs, soaked them again to get the coke out, and evaporated the alcohol. Boom. And the best part of this whole thing? Ponchos for everyone! Cocaine Jesus. Border police in Texas stopped a woman with a seven-pound Jesus statue in her trunk. The drug sniffing dog went nuts, but there wasn't anything hidden in the statue. And that's when the cops realized that the statue itself was made of cocaine. The whole incident was probably not worth the $80 that the woman was paid to smuggle the statue. $80? What does their drug smuggling expense report even look like? Submarines? Million dollars. Humans? I don't know. 80 bucks? As far as the smuggling goes, that is just the tip of the cocaine mountain disguised as an iceberg. Cops have seized drugs that were stuffed in corpses, live snakes, breast implants, bottles of holy water, bags of other drugs, seriously? And tubes labeled gay lube oil. Because you know, that's a lot less suspicious than straight lube oil or by curious friction goop or it's not coke, it's sass. Sex lube, promise, pinky swear. Check out my new channel, Fandom Beat. It's all about anime, K-pop, TV, and other stuff like this. Look at us! Look at us! Look at me! It's too much for my eyes! Or watch my last Anywho episode on the real life stories that inspired the creation of your favorite movie monsters. Toodles!